infertility, and uterine adhesions. Uterine adhesions can definitely lead to infertility. Even recurrent miscarriages, ectopic pregnancies, and chemical pregnancies can be caused. What is the true cause of uterine adhesions? It is mainly excessive manipulation of the uterine cavity, such as repeated flushing, diagnostic curatage, and repeated abortions. Excessive manipulation of the uterine cavity injures the basal layer of the endometrium. The endometrium is divided into two layers. The functional layer, which is shed during menstruation every month, can be damaged without consequences. However, the basal layer is the proliferative layer that develops into the future functional layer. Once the basal layer is damaged, adhesions form. Because there is no more endometrium. Uterine adhesions are classified into three degrees. First degree is membranous adhesion. Mild cases can be restored through hysteroscopic separation and the use of a molding device. The second degree is connective tissue adhesion, which is severe. It is difficult to separate easily as the basal layers are stuck together. The third degree is muscular adhesion, which involves the loss of the basal layer. The anterior and posterior walls of the uterus stick together. This is the most severe form. In such cases, amenorrhea is common, and it is not just about having a low menstrual flow. Prominent symptoms include amenorrhea or reduced menstrual flow or experiencing painful periods with very little menstrual bleeding. Previously, one would need one or two packs of sanitary pads. But now, just one panty liner is enough. This is mostly secondary. In clinical diagnosis, imaging techniques are primarily relied upon. With the first two types being detectable through imaging. Severe adhesions cannot be visualized through imaging because the contrast agent cannot enter. Examinations mainly rely on hysteroscopy, and ultrasound can also be used for evaluation. Uterine adhesions are characterized by thin and irregular endometrium, which appears blurred and uneven, especially with the panoramic 4D color ultrasound using a vaginal probe. A three-dimensional image can show the location and severity of adhesions. The size and scope can also be observed. In clinical practice, the main treatment is to release the adhesions. However, if there is no uterine shaping technique, the adhesions may reform after separation. And they may even become more severe. Especially in cases where not only the endometrium is damaged, but also combined with endometrial infection. Such as certain bacteria, sexually transmitted diseases, tuberculosis, syphilis, etc. It complicates the situation. Therefore, surgery should not be undertaken lightly, and the prerequisite is the availability of a uterine shaping device, which is the uterine shaping device we invented. After separating the adhesions, we place a layer of biocompatible anti-adhesive membrane on the surface of this device and introduce it into the uterine cavity. After two to three months, when the device is removed, the endometrium usually regenerates. Mild and moderate adhesions can be treated this way. But this method is not effective for severe adhesions. Only by transplanting another person's compatible endometrium and placing the shaping device is it possible. This is called uterine endometrial transplantation, where the tissue of the endometrium is transferred. The transplanted endometrium must be the basal layer, as the functional layer is not useful when transferred. Endometrium obtained through curatage is also not suitable. Specialized instruments and equipment must be used for retrieval. In cases where the matching is complete, Beijing Antai Hospital provides contracted treatment for mild and moderate uterine adhesions. If menstrual flow does not recover and pregnancy is not possible, a full refund is given. However, severe adhesions can only be addressed through uterine endometrial transplantation. If there is no source of endometrium or if the procedure fails, it provides an opportunity for fertility. In cases of uterine adhesions with available eggs and sperm, biological children can be obtained through surrogacy measures. For how to proceed with surrogacy, it can be discussed in the comments section. I am willing to provide assistance and free consultation.